Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So in this tutorial, I will show you my strategy in which I am entering the grades of each subject for my students per quarter um, comfortably. So I'll show you how kasi my existing MIS na kami sa school and this LIS is way um, the second, I mean, another additional uh, job for us advisor so as an advisor I really find it I mean I really find ways or and strategies kung paano mapadali yung trabaho ko kasi meron din akong mga anak at marami pa akong iintindihin besides sa work na ito so I have to work smart so here's my strategy so in our school, we already have this MIS, so para siyang LIS, pero ang setting lang niya is for our school only. So, thanks to our previous principal for having this to us, I mean giving this to us, it, gi it gives us um, more com comfort in um, managing our recommend forms kasi makikita niyo dito yung I mean, form 1, form 2, and so on. So, all I have to do is click grade slips. After clicking grade slips, so upon clicking grade slips, it will open up like that. So, it's a PDF file. So, all you have to do is control S. So, that's the shortcut key for save. So, magsisave siya and it will have a file name like that, shoeform138.php and I rename niya lang siya after renaming uh, for example, I rename it to grade sleep 1 and 2 kasi grade sleep siya na mag-refer ko for the Q1 and Q2 grades and afterwards, I have already the PDF file of my grade sleep after that just open online any PDF to Word converter. So here I open a lovepdf.com. So I'll just uh, convert the PDF file to Word here. So just select PDF file and magpaprom siya sa file name. And just afterwards, click convert to Word. After a while, ready now for downloading. So you can see it at the lower right, I mean lower left corner. Afterwards, you just click it open. And upon opening, you will see like this in the interface, I mean in your screen. So just select Q1 to Q4. Just double check that the arrangement of the subject is the same as the arrangement in the LIS. Afterwards, after double checking, since I already checked this one and they're the same, so I'll just continue copying Q1 to Q4 grades here. So after highlighting, just right click copy or press in your keyboard there, Control plus C, that's, that's the shortcut key for copy. And afterwards, you just paste it where you just paste it in the important notes portion in the da dashboard of the LIS. I mean, in the LIS interface, where you need to input the grades of your students. Afterwards, I already started entering the Filipino, which is 9189. I'll have to continue 89, just Control X. Then, just copy, next, 90. After this one, i make it sure that what I'm doing is really correct. I mean, hindi ako nagkakamali kasi kawawa naman si student. But don't you worry kasi this is editable. Unlike sa MIS namin na kailangan talagang yung administrator lang ang pwedeng mag edit ng grades dito sa LIS. You can just go back if in case it happened na may mali kang entry. So that's the beauty of this um, activity now. 
Ito, araling panlipunan. Ruby. Uh, I just make use of my keyboard. Control X, then here, Control V. Edukasyon sa pagpapakatao. This is Control X, then Control V in here. Control X using the keyboard. Control V. This is TLE. Alright. 85. Control X. Control V. Control X. Control V. And afterwards, I know na I do not have to input the mappy portion, so I'll just skip one line. So, hindi ko ikakapi and paste itong one line. Kasi, no need, hindi tayo makapag-input dito. Siya na yung automatic mag compute. So, I'll just go directly here. Control X, Control V, Control X, Control V. Why is it that I'm using Control X and not Control C? To avoid confusion. That's the, my main point. Kasi, makakonfuse ako if may marami pang um, grades or numbers na maiiwan after koma tapos ito okay 78 alright so afterwards okay as a sort of check 89 and 83 dapat dito so the, which is correct so I'll just review this by not showing you here kasi Makikita yung, I mean, for the privacy of the owner of these, or I'll just review, and I'll I'll tell you a while in a while. So upon reviewing, wala tayo na mali ng entry, so lahat ay tama ang pagka entry. So after that, do not forget to click Control A. That's that means select all. Control A in your keyboard, select all, then press Del or Delete. To, I mean, para maayos na naman itong important notes maging clean. So, afterwards, so, i-click nyo lang yung save na sa upper right corner. So, this is the save button. And, and it will prompt to learner grade has been updated. And as you can see, if for example, dapat hindi ito 91. Okay? Dapat, um, we have to, I mean, we need to modify this kasi may ganitong nangyari. So, like that. 91. Like, for example. So, as you can see, pwede pa rin ma-modify natin. Okay? So, that's the beauty of, you know, hindi na tayo kailangan pang uh, dudulog doon sa central office na ano, mag-write ng letter. Kasi yan ang aming protocol dito sa school na kailangan kung may namaliman ng entry or anong nangyari kailangan mag-write tayo ng letter sa administrator uh, showing our reasons kung bakit na mali yung entry and hindi talaga agad-agad hindi talaga pwede tayo mag ano ng mga grades mag modify ng mga grades ng basta-basta uh, dadaan tayo sa butas ng karayon kumbaga so ito yung ito yung tutorial natin na I hope you also will find it helpful because for me, I find this one helpful. Because um, I find it very confusing. Na palipat-lipat ng window. Because punta naman ako sa grades list ng mga students. Pupunta na naman ako sa uh, LAS dashboard. So ito yung ang strategy ko na sa ngayon ito lang I amin mean, nakapag nakatulong sa akin. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you learned something. Bye bye.